In 2011, LEGO released the Volkswagen T1 camper van, one of the most iconic vehicles of the world, and for LEGO, one of the sets that had the longest production run, only being retired in 2020 after 9 years. So in 2021, what did LEGO decided to do? A new one! The Volkswagen T2 camper van. I was really excited when LEGO sent me this early copy to review because I never had the old version and 10 years of new LEGO elements and colors, the new design is much better. The new set is larger than the previous one, at 2200 pieces, and while I don't have the old one to compare it to, here it is next to the Fiat 500, another set in the 18 plus cars range from LEGO. It's significantly larger, but it does seem to be in scale, which is good. It features a new paint color, the LEGO color Medium Azure, together with all the white. These large-scale LEGO cars no longer have the ugly gaps in the door hinges, which previous models used to have, as designers have found new building techniques to hide those away. That in turn allows us to open and close the doors while keeping the body of the car flawless. Inside there's the two seats, the stick shift and the steering wheel, which actually works. Connected to the front spare wheel using a very heavy LEGO Technic build, but more on that later on. It does feel weird that when turning the tire this way, the wheel turns the opposite way, but at least the steering wheel is correct. You can open the back to reveal the engine inside, and I believe this is made in such a way to allow a somewhat easy access to the engine if you wish to remove it. There's also the opening back trunk to access the interior to store supplies and in the window we have the curtains that are featured across most windows of the camper van although all of them, due to the nature of the material used and the inner roundness of the window elements, always stay at this weird angle. On the right side of the camper we have a sliding door and the way the mechanism is built is actually really clever. First there's a switch down here to release the door when it's completely flush with the van, making good use of a rubber band and when loose the sliding door slides on a combination of garage door brick elements and one by one round plates with a peg, which I found very ingenious and I'll probably steal for a future build of mine. And before I move into the interior details, there's yet another feature that I should highlight, the pop-up roof with tent. When opening and closing the tent, you might need to adjust the cloth material, but that doesn't feel that big of an issue for me. And the model looks really awesome on display when you have the tent up. There's nothing inside apart from a complex technique mechanism, but I'll discuss the build a bit later on. If you open the back trunk, you can actually slide the tent module out for easy access to the interior of the camper van. I really like the colors used, they feel somewhat old school, which works well with the model. The back seat can be adjusted and folded to sleep. The small table here using one of the newer Super Mario rounded plates can also be adjusted in a really clever way. And there's the sink, gas stove and sand green teapot. These cabinets down here can be opened, revealing the camping gas canister on one side and a mini fridge on the other. Finally, there's a brick built surfboard, again with the old school color scheme which seems fitting and two foldable deck chairs. Now, as you can see, there's stickers here and a couple more used throughout the build. While I can understand the need to use them and the costs involved, I still dislike them especially so when we're talking adult products here. The ones that are supposed to be on the same medium azure shade of blue are clearly not the same shade and you can clearly tell that there's something off with it. The license plates are also stickers and you get the option to choose between a German license plate and an American, which I decided to use here. There's actually an extra sticker sheet if you wish to customize your camper van an extra step further. There's however a couple printed elements, these tiles and slopes back here and the rounded plates with the Volkswagen logo on them. Speaking of elements, there's a couple ones I wanted to highlight. First, the windscreen with the rounded corners is to my knowledge brand new. There's these one by one plates with handles on both sides which are a really useful new element. These one by one by two brackets in tan and blue. A few of these recent slopes in tan and dark red, these 3x3 rounded corner plates in medium azure, and finally these new Technic pins that can fit a stud on top and seem like a good detail to have in builds. The build itself has its highs and lows. Overall it feels like a true LEGO build experience, if that makes any sense. You're stacking bricks and plates to a cool looking and familiar model that isn't overly technical or too niche, like the LEGO Ideas typewriter for instance. However, me personally am not a big fan of LEGO Technic builds and there were two points in time of the build where you're building pure Technic 
builds, the steering block and the pop-up tent mechanism. Like I said, it's a personal opinion, I dislike Technic in general and having these pages upon pages of a Technic build that took away from the pleasure of stacking regular plates and bricks was off-putting for me. Also the pop-up tent mechanism feels over complicated for what it achieves in the end. And having handled the model a few times in the last few days, the front bumper rail feels rather fragile as it falls down somewhat easily. But despite all of that, everything else was super enjoyable. I love building and discovering new ways to connect the bricks and this build has a lot of that and feels very adult oriented in its complexity. You're building lots of blocks of pieces that don't seem to make much sense and have studs going in all directions, but in the end they all perfectly align and come together as a whole. This mudguard section of the front wheels is a great example of the brilliant combination of techniques and well chosen elements, as is the build of the fridge. It looks quite simple when finished but it was rather complex to put together. Even the door handle build is worth checking out in the instructions if you don't plan on buying this set. Now, having said all of that, considering the price of 160 euros for Europe and 180 dollars for the US, at 2200 pieces I think this is a great LEGO set. The stickers and the LEGO Technic part of the build were a major downside for me personally, but the build was super enjoyable to do, fresh building techniques, not repetitive at all, fairly challenging and complex and the final model looks really cool and a major improvement over the previous Volkswagen camper van model. As always, I would love to hear what you guys think about the model in the comment section below, like, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.